his right, and Logan Snauskas on the far right. Coach, you want to open it up for us? I'm sure. Um, again, really proud of our guys um, on a great effort uh, for 60 minutes, uh, just coming out with a ton of energy. Um, and, and a really complete game in, in so many ways. Um, really good in the special teams um, in terms of goalie play. Uh, Danny was great, and I thought Justin Shockey did a really good job. Um, and then uh, the extra man, uh, I thought Coach Rupper did a really good job. Um, but you know, all in all, just you know, having to go down uh, and play, you know, midweek last week, and then go down to North Carolina. Uh, and then come back and, and play a team like Penn. I thought the guys responded really, really well. They had three great, great days of prep um, and, and really responded. You know, we really challenged them over the last couple of days. Um, we just didn't feel like we played, you know, up to the standard of Maryland. And it's certainly not taking any way th from anything away from High Point. I, I think they're a really good team. We just did some things that the guys hadn't been doing, and uh, we kind of challenged them. And I thought the guys responded really well. So super proud of them. Um, certainly need to get. Uh, some rest and take a break. Uh, these guys have been working their butts off, but you know they did really deserve this from all their hard work and their preparation. Coach, this being your 100th win, do you have any time to reflect on that uh, during your tenure here? Um, I don't. You know, it's funny. I, I, that was. Uh, I appreciate um, what those folks did. Uh, we have such great people here and great staff. And and, and candidly, I, I don't really think a lot about that. Um, I guess because I feel so lucky to have the job I have, and um, I, I value so much this uh, development of these guys and the relationships. Uh, I think the greatest thing that after the game was just to see all those former players and how much I admire those guys and how much I value um, the relationships that I have with them and seeing them successful. Like that to me keeps me motivated. Like I just love every day. Like it's not just the games. It's coming in and seeing these guys. Like. You know, things don't go well and then they respond well or seeing them graduate and doing great things. Um, to me, that's like the, I think what makes me happiest is just, you know, getting there every day and being with the guys and uh, being around them and their families and just hopefully helping them get prepared for the rest of their life. So I, I don't think too much about it. Um, I certainly, it just kind of says I've been around for a while, I guess. And Nick and Ben, um, what kind of uh, things specifically under Coach Tillman, have you been able to grow as a player and um, specifically? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think his 100 win kind of says it all for us. I mean, Coach is, you know, from freshman to now my fourth year here. Um, it's, been a, it's been a challenge and a journey, but at the same time, like, you know, I've grown so much as a person under Coach Tillman and all the coaches, um, just personally, just they challenge us, challenge me every day to be a better player and, and achieve things that maybe I didn't think I was personally capable of doing. Um, and sometimes we probably want to rip each other's heads off, but at the end of the day, it's, it's what makes us a better team and a better player personally. Um, so it, it's, been a, it's been a hell of a ride since the beginning. And you know, for him to, to, to accomplish this is, is awesome. And I'm just looking forward to continuing the season and getting better, so. Yeah, um, this will be my fifth year. I think I've been here for a good portion of those. Um, but no, I mean, uh, my five years here, Coach Tillman has done a great job. Um, I think I've learned a lot about um, growing as a person, uh, getting through adversity, hard times, um, just working as hard as you can, whatever you can, uh, everything in your life, just doing it to 100%, 100% of the time. Um, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, work on the things you might not be great at to make yourself a better, more rounded person. Um, and just everything that he preaches and teaches, just, you know, carries on the field and also uh, continues off the field um, just to become a better person. And, uh, you know, the, the attention to detail and hard work Coach Stone puts in every single day, you know, it's not surprising to me that he's gotten 100. Um, and I'm sure there's several hundred more to be had. Dan and uh, Rosowski, you know, after Saturday, how important was it for you guys to come out and kind of make such a statement on defense? Um, yeah, I mean, after Saturday, I think uh, just personally and just collectively as a whole, we know that's not the standard of Maryland to give up 14 goals. Um, that's just not what you know we do and, and what we strive to do by any means. So um, I think it was really important to come out today and and you know especially against a good team like Penn, um, we really wanted to make a statement and, and go back to what we do. Coach preached all week was fundamentals, and that's what we got away from Saturday. Um, but the, it, at the end of the day, it comes down to what kind of our scout players did for us too. I mean, they've been so tremendous just getting us ready, getting us prepared um, for a team like Penn. You know, a guy like Will Snyder who's been playing so well just on our end at Scout, and it paid off. He got on the field today um, for some meaningful minutes, and I thought he did a tremendous job. So 
that just goes to show kind of the character of our team. You know, we'll 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 you know we'll face some adversity, but um, we'll we'll do everything we can um, to come back and, and be better the next you know next time out. Yeah, just kind of piggybacking on what, what Brother said. Um, you know, we didn't think that the product we put on the field against High Point was you know who we are, or even close to what our best effort would be. Um, we just wanted to stress for the last three days of work, just kind of getting back to who we are. You know, like Nick said, getting back to the fundamentals. Um, you know, hard ground balls, things like that, um, to just try and be better today. I think, like like Nick said, a lot of the guys in the scout team really did a tremendous job preparing us, um, especially guys like Jack Wilson, who gave us a great look for number four today. And, you know, he just beat us up all the last three days and gave us a great look and really prepared us for today. And um, I think the work that, you know, the attention detail that the coaches and ourselves put in the last three days and the, the, the Harvard, the scout team, you know, did against us this week, I thought really prepared us today. John, can, can you reflect on what you've done, what you've accomplished here in your eight years? Uh, I don't really, I, I think it's about these guys. I really don't think about that much. Um, it, to me, it's all about the kids. And, you know, I'm lucky to be here. Someone has to fill out paperwork and, and yell at them maybe and, um, you know, and, and figure out what we're going to do at practice. But they make all the plays. And, and good players make it seem like a better coach. And, and these kids work so hard. And we have a lot of really good players and a lot of unselfish players. Our support here at Maryland is, is through the roof um, in every aspect. So uh, with the assistant coaches that we've had, certainly, you know, JL has been phenomenal. Um, you know, Jesse and Ty today, like, those guys are really the reason why you win those games. You know, it's, it's not one person. It's just everybody else just doing such a great job. So I'm lucky to have them. I don't score any goals. Um, these guys do all the hard work. Um, and, you know, I'm thankful for them, and I'm thankful for, for all that they're willing to do for the team and the program. So that's kind of the way I look at it. Guys, you, most of you could have played anywhere. What about John Tillman? made you guys say I want to be a Maryland Terrapin? Uh, well, I know um, for me personally, you know, I'm a Boston guy, so, you know, I didn't know much about lacrosse growing up, um, especially school-wise. I just know when I stepped on campus here, um, he was so personal to me, and, you know, it, it just seemed like a really good fit and a place that I wanted to succeed at. And the best part about it is I had no idea what I was coming into, especially as a freshman. Your head's spinning, you have no idea, you know, how to do it. And that's the best part about this place is you grow so much as a person. And, uh, you know, I'd never know that coming here. So it, it, it just makes you so thankful that I chose a school like this and a coaching staff like this because I think I'm a ten times better person coming here than I would anywhere else. Dan, you came from Texas all the way to College Park. Why would you do that? Um, you know, coming from Texas and, you know, just the person I am, um, I don't consider myself to, like, fit into a certain mold. Um, so. Um, when I came here, you know, Coach Stillman stressed how, how, you know, the team and the program is basically like one big family. And uh, when I visited a couple of times I did, I really, you know, sensed that sense of family. And, um, you know, with your family, you can have different kind of personalities, different kind of people, and they all mesh together because, you know, there's a common bond. And uh, I just think when I came and, uh, you know, talking to Coach Tillman, and plus he likes music, uh, the same music I do. But, uh, but, no, I think that family atmosphere and, um, you know, how Coach Tillman, you know, stresses his values, um, really sold me on Maryland and, uh, you know, the people and the academics and the bad, bad uh, combo here either. Logan, you, you're closer to your family now, but you could have gone any place. Why are yeah, you at Maryland? Uh, coming from a different university, um, I would say, like, things are much different here. Uh, 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 say the question again. Why did you pick to play for John Tillman? Oh, yeah. Um, just like the tradition here, uh, he holds us all like really accountable. Um, it's not really about like lacrosse; it's about we're here to get degrees and stuff. So he's making sure like we're getting the class, having class checkers and stuff, which I think is really cool. And we're ultimately just here to get a degree. We're student athletes, not athlete students. Time for one more, guys. Logan, what's helped you settle in the past two games? You had three goals last game, five goals today. And coach, what have you seen from the last two games? Yeah, I'd say uh, it doesn't really happen tonight. It happened the past three days. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Danny Dolan for like staying after practice and like putting the stick in his right hand. He's a left-handed goalie and just like, giving me like the reps, of, like what I'm going to see tonight with the right-handed goalie, like coming off the pipe, like staying on the pipe, like having me shoot low, like offside, like near side, like, whatever it was. Like the, uh, the scouts guys did a really good job. Uh, Zach Manny gave me a good look, being number 44, like putting the stick in his left hand sometimes. Just a 
really good week. All right, guys, thank you. Bro.